What is up, my kings and queens? Shaman Cash is king. Today, we're going to be pulling unselected deliveries and interiors through DMO at the strip club today with weaponized vehicles. All right, and I know a lot of you guys are having trouble because of this first part. And as you can see, I open the door and quickly force my character to jump away so that I did not sit in the vehicle. All right, and once I open the door and walk away, I'm going to shoot the door off with the up anatomizer so that there is no door on that vehicle. And now I am going to be waiting for my C1 to load back in. And I am just going to wait here and stare at these vehicles and keep them in my screen. And it is important that you do not look away and that you do not attempt to sit in that vehicle. If you attempt to sit in that vehicle even one time, it will be bricked and it will say that you do not have access to this personal vehicle. So you do not want to touch this vehicle except for to open the door and to break it off. All right. And so on my C1, I went to try to join on my friend, but I could not join. And because of just hitting DMO, I had to go and load into a new invite only session first before it would allow me to join back into that public lobby. And when I was loading in on C1 to my invite only session, on C2 I sent myself an invite just so that it'd be quicker for me to get back here. And now I happened to get a solo public lobby, so I was really lucky that I didn't have anybody else in the lobby to cause any problems, but there's a good chance that you will probably be in a full lobby. And the other five or six times that I've hit this, I have had 26 to 30 people in the lobby with me, so it's very important that if that happens to you, you do go in passive mode while you wait. And this will increase your chances that people will leave you alone while you're waiting for your C1 to load in. And you cannot have your C2 to leave the session. These vehicles are not DMO vehicles that are requested to the interaction menu, so they will despawn. They are full SP to MP story mode vehicles. Alright, and so that character wants to stay there and load the whole time. And now when my C1 gets loaded into the invite only session, you want to make sure and destroy whatever personal vehicle is with you on the map. That way when you load back into the public lobby with your C2, you, your personal vehicle will not corrupt this story mode vehicle and inhibit from you and en from entering it when you're at your MOC. Alright, and as you can see I still have my C2 there watching and the cars have to remain in the screen the whole time. If you look away for even two seconds they will despawn and you will have to start all over again. And so once I got back into the lobby with my C1, I just stole a street car. And it's very important that you do not call any cars out until you get the vehicles moved from the strip club. All right. And so I went to the nightclub to get glitched out and I use a dead spot method for this. If you are not using a dead spot method to get glitched out, you are going to have a lot of trouble attempting to pull these vehicles in public lobbies. There's a good chance that the timing and the black screens and all the stuff that goes on with your friend is going to prevent you and like I said in full public lobbies you're probably going to get blown up so plan ahead use your dead spot all right and after you're glitched out you have to go and get set up at gift cards to friends before you attempt to meet your C2 and so after I fall through the map at the nightclub, I request a vehicle in the back of my MOC and planning is the most important thing. So you will want a vehicle in the back of your MOC that you can use for gift cards to friends immediately. You don't want to be pushing special vehicles out and trying to prepare yourself in a public lobby. Again, it's just going to make this harder for you. And so after I'm fully glitched, I go to gift cards to friends to request my mobile operation center. And while my friend's waiting with the cars, as long as he's not AFK and nobody's messing with him, we should have enough time for me to get prepared. And so I'm going to get my MOC turned around so that there's easier access. And once I'm set up, I'm going to call Pegasus and request out my cargo bob. Now, if you don't have a cargo bob, your friend must have one or your C1 and your C2 must have one. 
but you do need one to ferry this vehicle across the map. You cannot enter it until you are invisible and you are attempting to receive it with gift cards to friends. If you attempt to get in that vehicle at any other time, it will brick the vehicle and you will not be able to enter it again. Alright, and so my cargo Bob showed up at the hospital down from the strip club, which is the typical spawn point in the city, so it's not too far away. And it's only a block from where the strip club is, so you cannot be in passive mode while you're flying the cargo Bob, but because it's so close, you should have a good chance to ditch over, get the revolter, and get back up in the air before anybody notices what's going on. Alright, and so as you can see, it's really, really close to the building, and you do have to be patient and slow while you're picking this vehicle up. If you blow up the cargo bob, it will destroy this vehicle, and you will have to restart. Alright, and my friend, I just want him to wait and watch me and watch these cars the entire time until I take control of the revolter with the cargo bob. And as you can see, I haven't moved. I've still got C2 waiting. And as I take the revolter away with my cargo bob, then he'll be free to get in the secondary vehicle that we have marked there and come and deliver it to me at Give Cars to Friends. And so now that I'm at Give Cars to Friends, I always drop the revolter right on the corner of the street and you want to stay as close as you possibly can to this car. You do not want to get any more than 30, 40 feet away from it or it will despawn. And so I'm just going to wait here for my friend to appear so that we can keep both vehicles within our vision. And I need my friend to help me. Obviously, I'm going to be doing the black screens, entering alone and falling through the map. And that distance is enough to make these vehicles despawn if your friend isn't paying attention. All right. And so while I'm doing this, you're going to depend on your friend to do a lot of the work for you. I typically bounce off my C1 and C2 with their responsibility of who's watching the car. And so if C1 is maintaining the vehicles, then I do all the work that I can with C2 until C2 is done and C1 needs to take control, and then I swap. But you always want to make sure that you have one console maintain their visual on your television screen of these cars All right, at all times. And so I'm going to go through and I'll show a side-by-side -side of both perspectives as I receive these vehicles. Obviously, you can see my C2 has gotten the car ready and is waiting at the passenger door, staring at the cars for me before I even attempt to move. All right, and once you get in the vehicle, it's very important that you communicate. You cannot just pull up and hit right D-pad. You both need to make sure that you're staring at the vehicles and that your friend has the prompt up before you attempt to hit right D-pad. If you get frozen in the middle of this glitch, you are not going to be able to save these vehicles. All right, there will not be enough time for you to handle the distance required to do that. And so after it kicks my friend out and I drive away, they're going to make sure that they still maintain contact with the vehicles at all times. Even though I have moved away and I have a responsibility to do that because of the get the car behind the MOC so that you can get your blue dot, you're going to have your friend maintain contact with these vehicles and you will have to balance responsibilities. All right, it's very important if you want to be successful with this. This is one of the more complicated components for you to achieve. All right. And so these vehicles that I'm using are just from my arena. They do not have to be from any specific location for you to push them as they are not special vehicles. And once you receive the weaponized vehicle, it's the only time that you can enter that seat while it is in a story mode state. So you will have just that half second of time for your character, character to teleport into the MOC. Alright, and once you enter the MOC, you can see I tried to get back in, but it automatically forced me out. But if you exit on foot, you can check your interaction menu, and you should have request personal vehicle options through the MOC. Alright, and so we know our MOC is full and that there is that vehicle parked there. It's now registered to us. Alright, so we successfully pulled the weaponized vehicle, and we've got the components that we need to finish off our set in the facility. So I'm just going to call another Deluxo out because I need to receive this secondary vehicle as we pulled two vehicles online at one time. 
and I capitalized on this and chose to bring two different unselected interiors and the Christmas horns which can only be done to the strip club method so once your vehicle shows up we're just doing the normal give cars to friends glitch but at all times the only difference is you want to make sure that you're taking your time to go slow and verify that you and your friend are maintaining eye contact with these vehicles and they are very 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 touchy vehicles and as I said you don't want to go through all the work that it takes to hit DMO get into the lobby get glitched out and get to this point and have someone not paying attention and you lose the opportunity to get these vehicles without having to restart all right, and I know it's a pain in the ass to do regular DMO already and this one's typically got you know a 10 to 15 se second more timer onto the countdown so it's going to be a lot harder for you to hit so now after I go and I receive this second vehicle I'm also going to be just giving myself another vehicle from my arena so that I can push this vehicle and once we are completed I'll go take a look and make sure that they have the components stored and that nothing has been stripped from the vehicles during the process of bringing them online certain cars as you will know that the Christmas horn or maybe your flash rims will revert back to default flashers your stock rims or your default horn and so it's good just to verify that your components did actually transfer through your save through save editor and sometimes you may not know until that vehicle is fully stored alright and so now I've got both vehicles and this one is because it's not a weaponized vehicle I could drive it straight out and return it to storage alright and as you can see we've cleared the vehicles from the map and because they are not DMO vehicles I did not create duplicate copies out of the back of my MOC so I have no dead street vehicles from DMO on the map we have cleaned the vehicles up from the map and nobody else can get them this is also a good method for you to use if you would like to create one for ones because you won't run the risk of leaving dead copies in public lobbies for other people to get all right and I know that's a concern for a lot of people I've had it happen to me myself so as you can see now I'm taking my own Deluxo and I am done with my C2 C2 can go ahead and log off and maybe back out to another invite only session while you re-roll your save and get ready to pull online some more interiors and maybe another donor vehicle with those set to livery on it and now I'm just going to drive to my arena and go take a look at the damage alright and so as you can see I have the Revolta parked here it does have the orange shade camo livery on it I did the hunter green worn and the hunter green trim it can only be obtained through save editor and if we go to the primo custom you can also see that I have it stored in its location alright no problem now these are my own personal vehicles all right, and from this point, we're ready to go ahead and put them on our magic slot and flip and clean the facility vehicles and get all the rest of your set organized with that unselected interior tied to that set to livery. All right, and so I hope you guys have been able to follow along with this and that this will help you to become successful. And as always, be safe and have a great day, everybody. Peace.